Hi, so I'm starting to make a series of videos where I explain how you can build your own um, 3D printer board from scratch. And I'm gonna start with the main thing that is the stepper drivers. So you can uh, have something that moves. Okay, so this is my board if you have seen uh, any of my other videos. This is the driver part. This is the the bottom view and this is the top view. And I'm gonna explain everything so you can build your own. Okay, so I'm using uh, two of these 2209 stepper drivers. This one is the same but it's just another version. And the last one, because I had no more of the good ones, I have an old A4. 4988 this one it's a bit noisy but i am using it for the zx so it's not that bad okay so the bottom the drivers are laid exactly as in these pictures so the bottom part is it's the same with this and as you can see, they have exactly the same. These four are where, it's where you connect the stepper, the stepper motor. It's these ones. The same here. Here it's the V mod. This one is the power for the drivers. And this one, the VDD and ground, it's from the the logic voltage that you provide either from the Arduino ASP or your MCU or separate line it can be 3.3 volts or 5 volts okay so how is this made I, I put this line here this is the ground line and it's connected to the as you can see to the first pin and the second last it's this and this because the grounds need to be connected together so on the all on on all on this four it's the same then the four ones the four um, connections to the motor it's just straight lines on every one then you have to put a cap between the power for the motor it's connected here as you can see these two points on every one I'm using 35 volts caps because uh, I want to use 24 volts because it provides a bit more more torque if you want to use bigger speed okay so it's a cap here and then this one it's my connector where I'm providing the power it's these two here one goes to the ground and the other one it's power and then I'm using a bit of thicker wire because this one is gonna use like one maybe two amps and it's just daisy chain from to every one of them okay so this is the power and motor connection part and then the, let's let's move to the upper side so for every one of these you have a direction and a step it's the same for almost all of them so first two connections are just straight lines because these ones you need to connect them to the um, to your con to your Arduino S2 or whatever uh, microcontroller you have. So this is straight connection, and this one is not connected, so I'm not using it. For the last one, I'm just using uh, for this one to clear it. It's just straight connections for all eight connections. It's a bit of dust here, but there's no, they're separate here, everyone. Okay, so I'm gonna explain first the first three ones. So I was to the third one, this one is not connected. Next one is the uh, serial word connection. So I'm connecting it to every one of them. And this is the receive line, and this one is the transmit. Uh, how do I know this? As you, this is from the data sheet, and it shows you here. This is one is the the receive line that you connected. You connect to every one of them, and then you have a transmit through a resistor of one k. So going back here, 
you can see it's brown black red that's and gold it's 1k resistor that it's connected between these points as you can see here so it's uh, i also want to mention that on this on these drivers these two are shorted on the so if you put a multimeter in continuity mode between here and here it will ring so uh, also from these two points here i'm connecting directly to the um, asp32 or you can connect to our arduino if you want so this one goes to rx this one goes to tx on the on the microcontroller okay so why there's no resistor on these ones because like i said this uh, these two are are connected between them are shorted here so once the connection goes like this from the microcontroller from the transmit line comes here and then it goes here and like this because these are two are shorted it goes the signal goes like this 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 and here and it's always coming through this resistor just like it it shows here okay so let's move to the next ones uh, oh i forgot to sorry about this i'm jumping a bit back um so the five the the five volt the the low level um, power 3.3 volts or 5 uh, it's coming from the microcontroller in my case so i connect one line here for the minus and one here for the plus as you can see there is a connection here for the first one to the vdd mm -hmm. and then from here i'm using as you can see there's no more connection here because i'm using external ones you can see clearly on this one you see i'm going from here and here and this one goes the same and this one the same uh, so first line i connected it uh, here directly on one of these pins i think it's this one or it's not clearly seen but i'm telling you it's it's connected here so it goes from here this black line until here you see here are two points one line two line the first one com comes here this one and then there's another one this one that connects from here to here and then this one from here to here so this is how i'm providing the low voltage okay now back to the top i'm using exactly the same thing because that's why i remember for the enable one so because i'm not having enough pins on a asp32 i'm using the enable pin on it's common on all of them so i'm going from here to here with this one then from here to here with this one and from here to here with this jumper cables it's actually cables from a network utp cable <laughs> if you are wondering what these cables are Okay, so the last two here are the um, the config the jumpers MS1 MS2 configuration for, for microstep. If you wanna use microstep, or if you wanna use the UART, you use uh, these ones. I'm using these ones in this case. So you can use four four of these drivers connected because you have two bits so you can have four addresses so these are straight connections because there is no need so i'm using let me explain a bit here it's the pink and the um, gray white one that comes here to the plus so we have one one here these two are these two so i have zero zero here the yellow and the green one it's zero one these are the addresses for the word that you need to put them in the marlin configuration 
and I have one left here because I told you I want to replace this one. In the meanwhile, in the meantime, I'm using this red wire, red wire just like this as a jumper between these two. Uh, and the three ones are coming um, somewhere around here. I don't remember exactly. It's, you can set whatever uh, you see here are the setting for the micro steps. I think I'm using 16. So it's high, high, high. All the last three ones are coming to the high side here. Okay, so I think, uh, oh, one last thing. This one is the pin for you to use it for the um, limit switch. If you don't want to use a physical limit switch, you can use it this in software. It's uh, this pin here. Now the first, the second, this one here. Uh, at least on this, on this module, this version, I tested and it's this one. On this one, I didn't test it because I only need it for the X and Y. Uh, for the, this one is the, the extruder, so I'm not, I don't need a limit switch. And this one, for the Z, I'm using a induction probe, so I still don't need the limit switch. Okay, so I think this is uh, everything you need to know. Let me show you some bigger images, if you need. Okay, so it's like the first one. Here you can see the ESP32, it's connected. All these wires, at least, the step and direction and the word they go here. This one I already shown you. This is a schematic for how you connect. This one they basically have almost the same connection as you can see the VDD and ground 3.3 or 5 volts. The step and direction they must go to the microcontroller. This one are just jumpers, and the enable one also goes to the microcontroller. Okay, so I hope this helps. Uh, I'm gonna make uh, some more videos about the other components to drive the fans, the heaters, to read the temperature and uh, to connect a pro hope you enjoy it and like and subscribe